Qualcomm. Welcome back to another QSOL event. We're here again at the Treehouse Kitchen. We really appreciate the feedback we got on the last video. And so today we've decided that we take you guys a little bit farther down the rabbit hole of kitchen work. One of the most important things to understand in the kitchen is how to use a knife. It sounds very simple, but there are actually right and wrong ways of how to use your knife. Uh, I want to first go through the three most common knives that you own in your kitchen and the ones you'll use the most. The first one and the most important one is your chef knife. Most chef knives are about eight inches long. Uh, there are different types of chef knives. Uh, Santoku knives have little ridges on the edges, but they all do the same thing. The next most important knife you own is a paring knife, and that's because this is the only knife in the kitchen you should be using in the air. In other words, don't peel an onion like this. <laughs> it's very, very dangerous. So a, a paring knife you can use in the air. And then the other important knife that you own is a bread knife. A bread knife is made to cut, well, bread. Uh, it has serrated edges and it's used to tear through things. If you think of it like a table saw and you push wood through a table saw, it rips through. You don't want to use a serrated knife like this to cut your tomatoes because the last thing you want to do is tear through a tomato. So now we're going to talk about the proper way to hold a knife. Most people grab the knife by the handle and naturally because that's how we pick up our purses, our suitcases, or baseball bag to pick up by the handle. Um, but a knife is not made to be held this way. What happens is it's very unstable and your brain will say, this is too unstable and you will naturally want to put your finger out and point. But again, it's unstable and dangerous. So the proper way to hold a chef's knife or a paring knife or a bread knife is to pinch. This is called the bolster where the handle meets the blade. And what you want to do is pinch the bolster and wrap your hand around. Okay, now you have a really good grip on the knife and you have control. It becomes an extension of your arm. Okay, so pinch grip. Pinch, your knuckles should be resting on the spine of the knife. Okay, now we're going to talk about the other hand. This is called the claw. We call it, right, like this. You, you keep your pinky and your thumb way back behind. All right, you don't want to grab your food like this and then start cutting because now you risk cutting off the tip of your thumb. So uh, when you cannot hold on to something steadily with the pin or with the claw, you just can put your, your hand around. Usually we do this for round objects like an onion. Okay, I stick my pinky up automatically because if I can't see it, it could be under the blade. So I'm gonna show you guys how to cut an onion because it's probably one of those things you cut the most and you're probably not doing it the way we chefs do it. And so the first thing you wanna do is identify the onion parts. This is called the root, okay? This is the flower end that comes out of the ground first. You don't ever wanna just start off by cutting the root off because if you cut the root off, now you have nothing to hold on to and you immediately release the juice from the onion which hits oxygen, turns to a gas and makes you cry. So what you want to do instead of cutting the root off is cut through the root. Okay, now we have two halves. We're going to put those down because we don't want the vapors to come up and make us cry. Okay, next we have to do is peel the onion. And the easiest way to peel it is to just cut the flower end off and just use your hand. Okay, so now we have our cut onion half. We're gonna use just the point of the knife and we're gonna go in about an inch away from the root. I'm going in at an angle and I'm just gonna cut kind of along the lines that are in the onion naturally. Now you can see I'm straight up and down. So next thing I'm gonna do is go in horizontally. I'm gonna start about a quarter of an inch off the cutting board and my knife is gonna naturally stop where it start. It's gonna naturally stop where it started. I'm gonna do this three times because this is a pretty tall onion. Okay, and now all I have to do 
is slice. And you notice I'm pushing through. I'm not going straight up and down. Slice. And we have a nice diced onion.